At this play cafe in North London, mums are enjoying quality time with their kids. Many of the parents here are working mums. They adore their children, but say having a family comes at a price. I think it's because part-time work, which is what women have to go into quite often after they have children, is so poorly paid, and that's why I've started my own business, because when I was looking at part-time jobs, they were very menial, they were extremely poorly paid, there was no career progression, and I felt that I'd be really held back. Uh, since I've been out of the workplace for four years, I'm going to go in at a lower level, aren't I? How can I possibly go back up to where I was? Uh, so I think for a few years I probably would be on a lower pay, in a lower position before I get back up. Mm. And that's just something you feel you have to accept? Yes, because I love my children. The study found that when those born between 1946 and 1965 were in their 20s, women were paid 16% less than men. For those born between 1966 and 1980, the pay gap narrowed to 9%. And for workers born in the 80s and 90s, the pay gap almost halved to 5%. But as workers reach their 40s, the gender gap widens dramatically. And if that trend continues, female workers who are currently in their 20s are likely to earn almost 30% less than their male counterparts by the time they reach their mid-40s. It does this because a lot of women may leave the workforce and as a result they gain less experience and then when they return to work they perhaps are paid less. But it's also to do with the fact that many return to work perhaps part-time and we know that part-time roles pay less as well. So there's a number of reasons why, but it's all connected to leaving the workforce and often having children. Ellie Reeves gives legal advice to working mums and says office culture has to change. My experience is that you know, women want to go in, work really, really hard and then be able to leave and, you know, pick up kids from nursery or childminder or, or, or school or whatever. But because they're not there until perhaps seven o'clock at night, um, you know, there's this view that actually they're not pulling their weight. The gender pay gap is finally getting smaller. But for women who have children, it seems there's still a long way to go. Leila Hayes, Five News.